My name is John Trusty. I am a counselor, a licensed graduate professional school, professional counselor. I've been working with young people for over a decade now um, in, in the school system. And at this point now, I want to work with young people as well as adults outside the school because I believe there's a lot going on with mental health. Um, and I need to be available to those, not just in my building as a school, but also in the community as well. Well, I really love counseling ever since I would say I was in high school. Um, I was even asked to be a mentor or a peer mentor to counsel other young people. Um, and ever since then, I've just had a passion for counseling. As soon as I finished my graduate studies, uh, I started working in the school system. But as I was working in the school system, I noticed a lot of students were struggling in the community. Um, even after they graduated, I lost at least two students to drug overdose. Uh, it was at that point that I realized I need to do more than just work in the school system and focusing on academics. I need to put a lot more attention on mental health. And that's why I wanted to do more in the community as a therapist. Yes, during my free time, uh, to be honest, my mental health uh, resource is running. I love to run. Uh, recently, I just started running a few marathons. Uh, so I've run two this year. Those are my first two. And prior to that, I was doing half marathons and 5Ks. Uh, I also love to read. I love to ride bikes. I just love being in the outdoors. Uh, favorite place I've traveled. Uh, I haven't traveled much in my time, um, I, but I, I have done a few cruises to a number of different places. So I would have to say Turks and Caicos. Uh, I think that was a beautiful beach. Um, I love the water. I've actually, I've done a, some scuba diving. So just that experience that they say that that's one of the best places for that. So yeah, definitely the beach in the Caribbean. Okay, well, um, once again, you know, most of my experience has been with young people. Uh, however, I have worked with adults in the past. But as far as specialty, uh, I would definitely say just working with uh, young people dealing with depression, uh, anxiety right now, during, after this pandemic, it seems like one in five students come to me dealing with anxiety. Uh, so definitely I've read up on it, I've studied it. Uh, so it's, uh, I guess it's close to my heart to help these students be comfortable going to class um, and receiving the free education that they deserve. Okay. Uh, well, normally I'm very eclectic. You know, I'm all about trying to get to know who the client is. Uh, and then I base my approach based on the needs of the client. Uh, however, I am partial to cognitive behavior therapy. Um, I think that's very effective. Um, keeping individuals in the present, uh, especially when you have a short time frame uh, to work with someone to help them understand why they're feeling this certain way, how these feelings and thoughts have impacted their behavior, um, especially working with students in anger management. You know, the teacher said this and they become explosive. So you got to help them talk through it. Think about what are some other op options? What are other things you could have done with your behavior? Uh, what are other things that you, well, what were you thinking to get to that point? And what are some other things you could have thought about uh, in order to work through uh, the situation? TV show and movie, uh, I don't watch much. Um, so, but I would say favorite, TV show, I would say since the pandemic, I did a lot of binge watching of The Office. Uh, so I would go with The Office. Uh, it definitely lightens the mood uh, for me. And I, I have a lot of t-shirts and some paraphernalia from The Office too, so <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like to say, since I'm getting into running, um, I, I definitely don't do this as much as I used to because it's not good for you. <laughs> but definitely pizza and macaroni and cheese. Those are my two favorite. Yeah. Yes. 
before I was working in a high school, um, I actually worked uh, as a case manager or in DC, a community support worker. Um, and I worked with adults. Uh, a lot of adults had dual diagnosis where um, it was maybe bipolar, but it was also drug abuse, um, schizophrenia, but also um, alcoholism. So I, I worked with a lot of those populations um, prior to working in the school system as well. I would definitely say if you're struggling with mental health, get help. Uh, there's plenty of resources out there. A lot of people that want to make a difference, um, make a note of the hotlines. We have a number of different suicide hotlines. Uh, make sure you have them readily available. Um, no matter what, don't give up. Keep struggling. Keep fighting.